Hello students. In our previous lecture, we have started with our 12th chapter, which is Heron's formula. We have even completed two questions of exercise 12.1. In this, we will in this lecture we will discuss the remaining questions. So let's start with third question. Third question says that there is a slide in a park. One of its side walls have been painted in some color with a message "Keep the park green and clean," as shown in figure, which is figure 12.10. Find the uh, if the sides of the wall are 15 meter, 11 meter, and 6 meter. Find the area painted. Uh, find the area of painted, which is uh, painted in color. So simple question. It is given that there is a triangular slide. and one portion of that a slide is painted in color we have to find the area which is painted in color and the dimensions of the slide triangular slide is also given so it is somewhat like this this is the figure in which this is 11 wait not like this it is like somewhat like this this is 11 meter this is 6 meter and this is 15 meter given to us so we simply have to find the this area area of triangle and this area which is painted in color this area and there is a slogan written here keep the park green and clean so let's start so first of all a is we will take a as 11 meter b as 6 meter you can take a b c value any value you can take a, take a as 15 also i am taking this right so first of all we have to find the value of s for uh, for the heron's formula so s is sum of all sides which is a plus b plus c upon 2 is equal to 11 plus 6 plus 15 upon 2 when we add them it comes out to be 26 26 plus 32 upon 2 equal to 16 meter. So the value of S is 16 meter. Now what is the for Heron's formula? Heron's formula is area is equal to under root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Now simply apply the put the values. in the formula so it comes out to be s is 16 16 minus a a will be we have taken 11 16 minus b b is 6 and c we have taken 15 so 16 minus 15 so it comes out to be 16 into 5 into 10 into 1 now make the pairs we can break 16 into 4 into 4 right it is square of 4 into 5 10 we can write it as 10 into sorry 5 into 2 so it comes out to be 4 into 5 under root 2 which is equal to 20 root 2 meter square so this is the area of the painted a very easy question you just need to put the values in the heron's formula what was given there is a slide in the park which is triangular in nature and one side of that whole portion is painted in color we have to find of that the area which is painted in color sides were given we simply found the s and we put the values in the heron's formula and the area came out to be 20 root 2 meter square so this was question number third let's move on to question number fourth now let me just drop this question number 4 question number 4 is find the area of triangle two sides of which are 18 cm and 10 cm and perimeter is 42 cm so this is the triangle one side is 18 cm other side is 12 cm and this is not given to us right this is 10 cm sorry this is 10 cm and this we have to find it but 
perimeter is given perimeter is given as 42 cm right now we all know what is perimeter perimeter is sum of all the sides now we have two sides so we can easily find c so it is a plus b plus c is equal to 42 a is 18 b is 10 plus c is equal to 42 when we add it becomes 28 Plus C is equal to 42. So the value of C will be 42 minus 28. It comes out to be 14 centimeter. So this C it will be 14 centimeter. Now we have to find uh, find the area. So it's very easy. Perimeter is given. What will be S? It is perimeter upon A. So A plus B plus C upon Two value is forty-two upon two. It comes out to be twenty-one centimeter. Now apply it in the Heron's formula. What is the area? What is the formula? Area is equal to under root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Right? Now we simply put the values. See, S is 21, 21 minus A is 18, 21 minus B is 10, and 21 minus C is 14. Right? So it comes out to be 21 into 3 into 11 into 7. So we can see that it is 21 into 3 into 7 is 21 into 11. So when we calculate it, it comes out to be 21 root 11 centimeter square, right? So this was question number fourth. 21 under root 11 centimeter square. So very easy question. I already told you that only you have to remember the formula and you will be easily able to solve the question. Only there might be some trick as it has used that they have given you the perimeter. and they have given you two sides so we first of all we find the third side which is 80 uh, 14 cm then we simply put all the values in the formula and the area of this triangle comes out to be 21 under root 11 cm square so this was question number 4 of exercise 12.1 now we move on to question number 5th of this exercise let's me just drop this Question number fifth. Question number fifth says that side of a triangle are in the ratio twelve ratio seventeen ratio twenty five and its perimeter is five forty centimeter. Find its area. So it is given that this is the triangle and the sides are in the ratio A ratio B ratio C is given as. 12 ratio 17 ratio 25 right the, let's say this is as a this is b this is c so this is given to us that all the sides are in the ratio but perimeter is given perimeter of the triangle is given as 540 cm 540 cm right now we have to calculate its area so first of all we have to find the sides so what do we do let a is equal to 12x b is equal to 17x and c is equal to 25x right now formula for perimeter is perimeter is equal to a plus b plus c which is given as 540 cm so we simply put the values of abc it is 12x plus 17x plus 
25 x is equal to 540. If we add them, it comes out to be 54 x is equal to 540. Then the value of x comes out to be 10. Value of x is 10. Now we can easily find a, b, c. So a is equal to 12 into 10 is equal to 120 centimeter. B will be 17 into 10 equal to 170 centimeter. And similarly, C will be equal to 25 into 10 equal to 250 centimeter. Now we have the sides, all the sides. Now we can easily find the area of this triangle. Right? So this A is 120, this is 170 and this is 250. Right? Now uh, we have to find the S. S is per A plus B plus C upon 2. A plus B plus C upon 2. And A plus B plus C is 540. 540 upon 2, we get 270 centimeter. Right? Now simply apply the Heron's formula. It is S is, sorry, area is equal to under root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. So simply apply the values. S is 270. S minus A is 270 minus A is 120 into 270 minus B is 170 and into 270 minus C is 2. 50. So, it comes out to be 270 into 150 into 270 minus 170 is 100 into it is 20. Right? I am rubbing this part. So, you will be easily able to see. Now, it is 270 into 150 into 100 into 20. So 100, it can easily come out. 100 is square of 10. So it comes out. We, in the inside, we get 270, 150 and 20. So we have to break it in a particular way. So how can we break it? If we see, there is one 0 here, there is one 0 here. So we can take it out also. So it becomes outside as 100 under root of 27. 27 is 3 into 3 into 3 into 15. 15 is 3 into 5. And 20 is 5 into 4. So this is one pair, this is one pair and this is one pair. And this is square of 2. So we get 100 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 4 is 2 into 2. So 2. So it comes out to be 5 2 is 10, 9, 1, 2, 3. 9,000 centimeter square is the area. So, it is a bit lengthy question, but very easy. You just have to always do, you can use this method also. If you are fast, then you can apply any method to solve the square root. I prefer this because there are very rare chances of mistake in this type of method, right? So, what was given? It was given that there is a triangle and the sides are given in the ratio. But the perimeter was given which was 540. So first of all we found the sides, length of the sides. And after that we simply applied the Heron's formula. We found the value of S and then we calculated the area using the Heron's formula. And it came out to be 9000 centimeter square. So this was question number 5. Let's move on to the last question of this exercise which is question number 6. Right? Let me just rub this. Question number 6. Question number 6 says that 
an isosceles triangle has perimeter 30 cm and each of the equal sides is 12 cm find the area of a triangle we all know what is an isosceles triangle an isosceles triangle is a triangle in which two sides are equal but the third side is different so this is given that this is the isosceles triangle two sides are equal which are of 12 cm each we have to find this third if we somehow get this third side then we will be easily able to calculate the area of this triangle but one more thing is given which is perimeter of this triangle so perimeter is given as perimeter is given as 30 cm right so perimeter is a plus b plus c is equal to 30 put the values of a plus b a and b is 12 each is equal to 30 so 24 plus c is equal to 30 and the value of c comes out to be 30 minus 24 is equal to 6 cm so this value of c is 6 cm right the perimeter was 30 cm yes now we have the sides all the sides now we can easily find the area so what is the area first of all we calculate s s is a plus b plus c upon 2 12 plus 12 oh sorry value of it is perimeter so value is given 30 plus 2 it is 15 cm so we have the value of s now what is hirons formula hirons formula is area is equal to under root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c right now we simply put the values s is 15 15 into 15 minus a is 12 into 15 minus b is also 12 into 15 minus c is c is 6 so we get 15 into 3 into 3 into 15 minus 6 is 9 so we get 3 into 3 under root of 15 because 9 is square of 3 so we get 9 under root 15 cm square right easy question what was given that there is an isosceles triangle and two equal sides were given to us and the third side was not given so we had to find the third side but the perimeter perimeter was given which was 30 cm so what we did we found out the third side which came out to be 6 6 cm we found the value of s which is 15 and we simply applied it in the hirons formula and this is the hirons formula i am writing it again and again so you get it in your mind right and the area came out to be 9 under root 15 cm square so this was question number 6 and there are only this uh, six questions in the first exercise from in the next lecture we will start with exercise 12.2 so thank you very much